Hi guys. All right. So I'm well. I'm I'm not using a microphone right now because I switched laptop. So this is a new laptop. I'm just testing it out, and I'm trying to see how powerful the the microphone is, the built-in. So I'm doing this map review again. So it's been a while. So let's talk about so uh, let's talk about the maps that have been downloading over time. So a lot of souls, huh? Let's start with the eight man map. So, Wonderland, this is recent. I believe this is from Misen. Misen Misen. Um, he's a wonderful map creator who's been creating lots of awesome maps. So, I haven't tried, I, I used this once. Um, I think I was somewhere around here. This is a pretty wide map, though. If you want uh, a link to, to his maps, you can check it um, with the Battle Realms PH group. I think he, he frequently posts there um, as well as other Battle Realms uh, groups uh, on Facebook. So, Wasteland Warbands. This map is a good map for uh, for 8 players. I specifically uh, love this part. This is an uphill. This is a mountainous terrain. And this is um, an island type. So, you can actually build the base at the corner of the map. Um, and this one, this is a fortress type, so you can build a huge base over here. The rest, these are spacious, but they're just spacious, so it's fine if, if you want to build large bases specifically for the wolf clan. So these are all more from Misen, so as you can see, he likes it wide and open, so these are his maps. Uh, Toxic Canyon, another map that I used to... Um, that I downloaded from a site that I used to visit, which is the the Battle Realms forums. Um, unfortunately, the website was shut down, so uh, I I don't know now. Samahanap. It's a good thing that I was able to to save a bunch of maps from from that. Uh, this is uh, included in the game. Serpent Sun. It looks dark, but it's good. Um, it's it's okay. I mean, it, it, it's it's not actually fit for like tower defense, but it's great. Para siyang shady bluffs or para siyang, um, oh yeah, other other maps for eight players. The northern sanctuary, same same. Lots of uh, well, actually it looks big, but once you start uh, traversing through the forest, it actually feels kind of small. Lost Sanctuary. Now, this is a huge map. Um, this base is actually solo. And these are two points where you can put um, watchtowers. So, what I do is, if I'm using the Dragon Clan, I put archers here. I put Ara in one of these or probably here. So, this is the only way in. So, this is the this narrow road. So, this is one of my favorite bases. Another is this one. This one is isolated. There's no other way uh, to this base. So, this is the worst base that you can have because access sha dito, also access here, and you're kind of trapped. This one is, um, it looks elevated, but it's actually sunken. So, this one I haven't tried, but you can look for this map in Google, just the last Sanctuary Battle Realms custom map. All right. So, former site of a meteor. Um, tai Koto ng gumawa. So, this is a good spot. This is enclosed. You can build a base here as well as this one. This one, it, it's ac it actually looks big. So, uh, you can see the pathway. Diba? So, it leads to a back forest that you can also build a base. But the problem here is it is the former side of the meteor. So, there are places that you can't build. And it's hard to build the, the wall of watchtowers that you usually build to um, also, it's just weird, you know, it takes time for f players to travel to your base, so it's not that much fun, you know. Tarrant Home, um, I don't like this area, it's too open, very open, but these, these guys, if you can see these squares, these are actually, um, elevated terrain, you can build a base on top of those. This is a waterfall type uh, corner. Um, this is an island where well, there's the white wolf skull from the Battle Realms, so Winter of the Wolf. 
it's fun. It's a fun map. This is kind of open bin. So if you if you like it, if you like action, so this is the map for you. Spirit Island. There are two variations. Forgive me, I forgot the name of the guy who who made these maps. Super awesome bin. But um, I will mention you. ASAP, I'm so sorry, and I've been speaking to a lot of map uh, creators, and I, I'm just, I've, you know, I've lost track. Shady Bluffs, um, um, Rice Terraces, like terrain, so it's layered, so it's fun, it's fun, it's, it comes to the game. Shadowlands, that's fine, I mean, it's shadowy. Sacred Spire. Uh, I like this. It's actually cinematic. Um, if you pick a base, uh, like the, the top three or the lower three, um, if you scroll and you zoom and you watch your your people go up and down the hill, it, it actually looks really good. Hold on. One second. Something fell. I think it's, it's from a cat's. Okay. Return to Inferno, blah, blah, blah. Portals. Um, I recommend this side and this side. So if ever you have this map, it, it's a fun eight eight man map. Obsidian River, Meteor Mayhem. Of course, everyone knows this one, and these three. If you want to merge bases up to three people, uh, three players, I recommend this part. This is the only base that makes sense, um, and I recommend using the wolf clan because this is the only water source Lair of the lotus is another expansive map it's stressful but it's fun you can actually build an empire especially if you're using the lotus clan i haven't used this one yet but it looks fun um either of these but you know me i, I need i need to be elevated and well protected so maybe this one as well just so i can control the the crowd that's coming in highland crossroads you can put me anywhere in this map. They're good, but these guys, I, I think you get, if you if you get this spot or this, you can conquer this one where the horses are. You can have two sides of the base, or or like that. Uh, it depends on you. Um, same same here. So you you can conquer that, and then this. You can have it in bundles. For this side, um, okay. For the entire map, I I believe that this. Is at a disadvantage because you're open to, from all areas, so it's not it's not too happy. Helm's Deep, it's fun, but uh, I hope you get this side of the base. It's corner, it's wide, and it's it's you know it, this is the only way in, so it's best for large crowds. Great uh, Great Mountains, I haven't tried. Gate of Death, haven't tried, but looks good. This is still for me, so I'm gonna check it out. For God's Garden, expansive and lots of rice. Fantasy Land expansive fallen capital you would you want to make a base at the very center of the map but the thing is don't be deceived there are lots of entrances so uh enchanted village same same comment dungeon entrance this is a trap all right this area is hard to control i, I suggest build a base somewhere around here or play with a friend right dragon tea house same Demon Crater, same. Cold Mountain Valley, same. Well, you can put me anywhere. It's fine. Cambodia Cliffs, this side, the corner. Ambush. Well, this is interesting. I haven't really tried this yet. After the eruption, I prefer me building a base here or here. The rest is shit, so... <laughs> Sorry, YouTube. Serpentera. Um... I remember, okay, I, I can, yeah, build a base here or one of the squares, which is like half the size of a fortress. Toxic winds, it's fine. These are actually a walkable paths. The world, haven't tried. Seven Sins Caldera, I love this part. And this part. The rest is shit, okay? Um, Rook's Desolation. Oh, no, 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 no. What else? Fortress. I think I featured this before, but for the Fortress, uh, you would want the corner maps. This is very interesting. If you can build this and secure this, it's, uh, it acts like a, a, a good Fortress. 
for for two players you can have the center one or top center um it has a paddy field and it's it's really beautiful if you build a base around it with uh, organized uh, watchtower placements um Wheeler's canyon for for russian games i guess uh well i guess that's it that's pretty much it um discuss the the first few maps um i will start to record a proper game now all right so i guess it also concludes my mic test for today bye guys